A U.S. State Department official announces that around 140,000 liters of fuel will be allowed in every two days. Most of the fuel is intended for trucks delivering aid and supporting the UN in providing water and sanitation. The rest of the fuel is allocated for mobile phone and internet services, which had been cut off due to a lack of fuel. The company providing Gaza's communications confirms that its services are returning after receiving some fuel via UNRWA, the UN's agency for Palestinian refugees. The US official reveals that Washington exerted considerable pressure on Israel to push this fuel agreement through. The deal had been agreed in principle weeks ago but was delayed by Israel for two reasons. Israeli officials informed the U.S. that fuel had not actually run out in southern Gaza, and they also wanted to wait and see if they could negotiate a hostage deal first. The head of UNRWA warns that the agency may have to suspend all of its activities due to the lack of fuel. The agency requires 160,000 liters of fuel every day for basic humanitarian operations, which is more than double the agreed amount. An Israeli official states that the new fuel allowance will be brought in through the Rafah crossing to the civilian population in the southern Gaza Strip via the UN, as long as it does not reach Hamas.